Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to make such an edge detection shader. First you need to create a shader graph with screen shader, then create a material from it. Then go to the render pipeline settings and enable depths if you didn't do this before. Go to the render pipeline asset rendered and add this material as a render feature and open the shader. If you set opacity to zero and uh, save it, you won't uh, get any result because you need to select blend mode. Now it's time for some visual code. Create steam depth node, select row mode, duplicate, select I mode, multiply these two nodes and multiply it with vector two value. We will use it later. Then add it to UV and connect uh, to the sin depth uh, node with uh, I mode. All these nodes will be an edge shift that uh, we subtract from uh, I send depths. For example, if you change one vector to value, it will be edge shift with uh, direction from vector to value. Now you can change a color to yours. And as you see, uh, there are some weird artifacts. You can uh, fix these artifacts uh, related to, to values uh, below zero just by using saturate node. You can do the same for the opposite side, just by duplicating this group of nodes, then subtract the same as scene depths from it and add this to the output. You can do the same for the opposite sides, just by duplicating this group of nodes and changing only vector to values. You can also expose color to control it from the material and you can set color to HDR to have ability to change color brightness. Also expose values to control depth line and depth line bias. Connect color node with base color. Multiply output with depth line value. Connect it to saturate node. Then use power node to control depth line bias and save it. Now you can play with material values, also you can go to render pipeline feature and uh, set render before post-processing. And uh, Bloom will affect uh, your edge detection. By the way, you can multiply nodes uh, from edge detection shader with uh, shockwave shader to get a better looking shockwave shader. So that's all for this video and see you in the next. Bye.